I could not believe how big these trees were until I went to go see them in person, and even then I couldn't understand it. These are giant sequoias, the largest trees on earth, and they can live to be thousands of years old. They evolved millions of years ago when huge dinosaurs still roamed the planet. I kept feeling so amazed that these were living beings just like us, but they're these ancient giants. I had so many questions. How on earth can they do this? Like, how do they grow so tall without collapsing? And how can they live for so long? What kind of relationship do they have with the indigenous people of this region? And what can we learn from the majestic sequoias? To understand the wisdom of these magical beings, we can start with their environment. They live high in the Sierra Nevada mountains in California, where the snowmelt provides them enough water to drink up with their massive roots. I thought that such a tall tree would need really deep roots to support it, but sequoias actually root pretty close to the surface where they can get a steady supply of water. Instead, they root wide, extending hundreds of feet in every direction. They weave their roots together and even fuse them with each other. Sequoias actually love fusing together. Rather than compete for resources, they often choose to just share them. Only by supporting each other can they grow so tall, which is why they always grow together in groves. But they do live in a chaotic ecosystem where fires are frequent. So they've adapted to this chaos. They evolved a natural preservative called tannin, which is why their bark is that beautiful red color, and that bark can grow several feet thick to protect them from fire damage. Sequoias actually need fire to grow. Their cones are covered in resin that only melts with fire. That's because their seedlings need a lot of light, but there's often too many other plants in their way to get it. So the resin lets them wait to germinate their seeds until a fire has turned those other plants into tasty ash. The indigenous people of the Sierras have long understood the importance of fire to the health of the sequoia groves, and developed intricate cultural burns as a way to take care of the land and themselves. This practice was outlawed by colonizers, resulting in overgrowth of the forests that quickly burn out of control. In 2021, fires in Sequoia National Park burned thousands of mature giant sequoias beyond their capacity to heal a devastating loss that could have been avoided with regular cultural burns. Only recently have tribes been legally allowed to conduct cultural burns on their own ancestral lands, and they are still heavily controlled and restricted by the US government. These restrictions are harmful to the thriving of the tribe's culture, as well as the well-being of the sequoias. The sequoias are crying for good fire and for the people who know how to bring it. The sequoias teach us that we can only grow into our full potential with the support of our loved ones. They teach us that we can adapt to chaotic times and even thrive in them. And they are telling us that they need their ancestral caretakers back on their land.